to start with Alicia. Who is he? And uh, tell me a few things about this portrait of this young man. Well, Alicia was photographed in Baltimore. He's a son of my very close friends. And this is in his backyard. And I knew him since he was uh, a 12-year-old boy, I would say. And he was changing. You know, I knew him as a child with a, with a higher voice, and his voice was changing. And uh, he was kind of, I think he was going through a big, big change in his body and the awkwardness and the kind of the discomfort, not knowing your new body, which kind of very much mirrored the process of me coming, immigrating from Moscow to the States. That was my new body. Yeah. And I didn't know my body and I didn't know my voice. Yeah. And it sort of kind of mirrored that yeah. very much, yeah. In terms of his stance, it's very much a formal portrait. And I'm wondering about your interaction with him when you took the photograph. What was that like? in terms of getting how you got the there. interaction Expression. was um, the interaction itself was minimal as most of my interactions they're very minimal expressed interactions most of the most of my interactions with my subjects are in body language and kind of what's what what's between me and them it's um, it's very rarely a verbal exchange hmm. um, usually I give uh, one or two word uh, command. <laughs> one of the ways I, I, I thought to um, get at the biography issue, again, is the location, uh, locations where the photos were taken. Um, so I wonder if you could talk about this location and what drew you to uh, this particular image, which is of a of a, a laundry facility. Yes, this is located in uh, my neighborhood in West Rogers Park, <clears throat> which is primarily um, a neighborhood in which uh, most Orthodox Jews reside um, for reasons of proximity. Um, to each other and proximity to synagogues uh, in the area because you are not allowed to drive a vehicle on, uh, on Shabbat, on the Sabbath. Mm -hmm. So this is the dry cleaners and it's actually right across the street, directly across the street from one of the synagogues. Mm -hmm. It's got this mound of white shirts. Yeah, white shirts, white shirts. And this was, I think this was around the time of the the High Holidays, um, which is Rosh Hashanah and Yom Kippur, and uh, it's symbolic, it's a tradition to wear white, sort of as a sign of cleansing and purity. Mm -hmm. One of the things that I was drawn to was the fact that they're touching. But I was wondering if you could talk a little bit about, uh, about this couple and uh, there's uh, two other photographs of couples in the exhibition. But the theme of couples and the theme of them uh, being Jewish, uh, overtly so in terms of the wearing of the yarmulke. Well, uh, this is a couple that, um, that I'm very close friends with. And um, that is probably partially the reason why they feel so comfortable displaying affection in my presence. Um, normally, Orthodox men and women do not touch in public. Um, and then there are also periods of time um, where they do not touch in private mm -hmm. as well um, due to certain religious uh, observance. But one of the things that I wrestled with, with this picture, the stare out is a way of questioning um, the viewers, kind of what are you looking at in a sense. How much of you did you see in them, right? Because I know there's a kind of a split, you know. You, you, you are them and at the same time you aren't them. I'm not them. As a photographer, I'm always on the margins, and I'm always standing on the outside. Mm -hmm. Always. We have an exhibition of the work of Anastasia Schlager on view from January 3rd through February 14th. 
Address is 5811 South Ellis Avenue. We're open Tuesday through Friday, 10 a.m. to 5 p.m., Saturday and Sunday, noon to 5 p.m. This program is partially supported by a grant from the Illinois Arts Council, a state agency.